I've always had the philosophy of uh, play first. I just like the idea that the stories are the stories that we create by playing and by exploring and uh, experimenting with things. I think a lot of people have become more and more afraid, especially as they get older, to try new things and to experiment with stuff that they don't already understand because they're afraid of looking silly or looking stupid. It's like whenever you're thinking, it's like, oh, should I do it or not? Like, do it. It's like, just do it. And uh, if it's, I mean, you will learn something from it. And maybe you will hate it. And even when you will hate it, you will learn something from it. And not like basic knowledge that like, I should not do that again. But you will feel something. You will say, like, it was 99% was bad. But from this little percentage, then there is something. We have a lot of failures uh, that never see the light of day, but we always look back at them and we're like, the process is really what gets us to the end result. And we can't compromise with the stuff we actually do end up putting out. So um, it's worth it, the loads and loads of failures. <laughs> We all have skills, right? Like I'm a programmer, I'm his art, we've got friends who do music, and those skills are neat, but at the end of the day, we're all designers. And that's what we really want to do. And all these things are just, you can think of them as tools, you can think of them as obstacles in your way to just getting your idea out there. And if you, you know, don't have walls, if you don't have a limitation, you're always going to have more ideas. If you didn't have ideas, you wouldn't be a designer, we wouldn't be in this space. Because I think the thing that artists face like their entire lives is, the fear of like kind of overcoming that next thing and doing something different and doing something new and is it going to be good enough and you get so worried about it that you forget that the point isn't to just create this perfect thing but to enjoy the process of creation and where it takes you. In each experience we have noise, we have good and bad and from all that you will feel something and ideas will just spawn somehow. It will just make sense at some point. It's not uh, like uh, we have a process, first step, second step, third step, and bam, you have an idea. It's more just live experience and they will come to you somehow.